Okay, this is the second part of my tutorial series. In this part, we're going to create an entity that will flatten out part of the terrain. So when you set down an object, it'll push the terrain away so it doesn't clip through buildings and structures, things like that. So what I'm going to do is right click, create an entity. On this entity, I'm going to create a terrain uh, spawner. And I'm going to add the cube shape like before. I'm going to pull this guy out of the ground. Why is there no terrain spawner on that object? Interesting. Hopefully it still works. Uh, then I'm going to go here, terrain, and a height gradient list. And then I'm going to hit the plus. And I still need to put a gradient on there. That's that might that might be why I can't see the terrain is I have to have a gradient, maybe. Oh. So I'm gonna name this uh cube and I'm going to create a child entity. I'm gonna create another child entity. This child entity I'm gonna call it mesh. And I'm gonna add a mesh to it, which is gonna be um mesh right here and I'm going to just select one of the meshes that comes with O3DE and it's going to be cube beveled cube is always a good choice because it looks good okay so I'm going to take that and move it down uh, what is it 0.5 is out? No. Okay, so zero. Put it there. So negative 0.5 maybe? 0.5? Yeah, perfect. 10 out of 10. Okay, now here is going to be the gradient, which I'm just going to call a grade. And I'm going to add another gradient, which is um, the constant here. And this should basically be cutting out a square shape out of the bottom. So wherever I move this, a square shape will be flattened out. So go back to the cube here and I select the gradient level here. That should give me an object that will interact with the environment here. And it's interacting, but it's not quite doing what I want it to do. It's not uh, uh, pushing the environment around the way I want. If I move it up here, say, see, it's kind of sticking to it, you can see. But what I'm going to do is there's two things I can do. One is I can create the box shape to make it bigger, which if I do 1.5, by 1.5, it'll definitely increase its footprint, which is actually might not be a bad idea for most objects because you'll give a little space around your object and then it'll uh, so it seems it works pretty nicely. And then, you know, I have two, I have two terrains here. Uh, so I'll take this terrain here and it goes right seamlessly over to the other one without problem. It all it all works very nicely. And say the terrain is not quite deforming the way I need it. Another thing you could try is clicking into the level entity here and then under high uh the resolution, high quality resolution, I'm going to basically uh Query resolution, interesting. Uh, point, uh, say point five. At point five, it increases the resolution, and let's see if I can. I think it would give a, a little bit better of a a cut, but it's not really doing what I thought it would. Or I feel like I broke it. Maybe I broke it. <laughs> but O3D has gotten, I got its issues. So 
they're slowly getting worked on. Uh, I'm just going to put that back where it was at before. Uh, which was one. And then maybe if I pull it up and put it back down, it'll reset the... So I killed it somehow. Uh, but... Okay, let's go over here. Okay, it's connecting still, so it's still interacting. It's just for whatever reason. You know, something the devs can look at, I guess. But, yeah, you know, before I messed with it, it was working. And you get the idea that you can just kind of use a box shape to define uh, if an area to flatten out. And you can turn this whole thing into a prefab and spawn it in. So if you spawned one in right here, it flattened out the ground underneath it uh, the way you would want it to, well, preferably. Uh, but so I think that covers what I was going to cover. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.